Hello Bowleggers and welcome back. I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on cutting up chicken. Um, the reason I want to do this is because I've been getting a lot of comments and feedback from you guys, emails also, about um, is it cheaper to buy chicken parts or buy the whole chicken and take it home and cut it up yourself. Truthfully, it's cheaper to buy the whole chicken and take it home and cut it up yourself. Yes, you do pay for those butchers in the back cutting that chicken up and putting it in those styrofoam trays for you. But um, I'm going to show you today how to cut up a chicken. It takes less than five minutes and you'll probably be doing it yourself and you'll never buy another cut up chicken again. Let's get started. Here's my whole chicken. This chicken is about, probably about four pounds. Let me get you set up here where you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And I typically start off with my with my drumsticks. I normally cut those off first. And, and on a lot of chickens, you'll come across a lot of chickens with a little, like that little skin like on there. Just pull that off. It's been washed good, but still you'll come across in little corners and crevices where they'll have that little skin still left there. But let's start off with our drumsticks. We're gonna cut right here. And once you cut that, you just wanna break it and cut on through that, um, that thigh bone. There we go. Do the other leg, same way. Cut on this side, cut around there, cut on the back side. You wanna break it, you'll hear it pop. And once it pops, go under there, right against that thigh bone, and just come straight up. Now, I move from there to the wings. On the wings, since the wings is a small piece of meat, I normally put a cut, cut my wings with a little bit of meat on the bottom of them down here, so the wings don't be so skinny. Just like that. See that little meat I left on there? And that way it won't be so small. Now this part of the wing, I never keep. I, I don't like that. I, 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 a lot of people cook it, I don't. I cut that off and get rid of it. Now, if you want it on yours, you can keep it on. That will be your thing, but my thing is to get rid of it. <laughs> I never cared for that part of the chicken. And we're going to do the other wing the same way. Come down into the backbone a little bit. Get some of that meat. Same way. See that big old hunk of meat right there? And that way, where your meat, your wing, has quite a bit of meat on it. Get rid of that tip. Now, all our extremities are gone. So now what we want to do, let's get rid of this here hunk of fat right there. We want to get rid of that tail, definitely. Now, I normally come and cut, go sideways, cut down through under the breast this way, Flip it around, cut it on that side, and you're going to break the backbone. You heard it crack? I'm about to lose my glasses. All right. There we go. Now, this is your breast. Got quite a bit of fat here on that breast. I want to get rid of some of that. The breast, we're going to turn it over. I normally come right here in the center of the breastbone. Cut me a slit right there. Go straight down. Cut it through. Turn the breast over. Stand it up and come straight down.
There you got one big, pretty beautiful breast there. And actually, these breasts are so big, you actually can cut them in half. I, and I probably will. I rarely cook a breast that big. Sometimes I will, but oftentimes, when a breast is this large, and these are pretty big breasts, I normally cut them in half and make it, um, like right here, I cut it in half. As well as, um, it makes it easier to cook also. Now that was one breast I cut in half and I got two portions now. And I'll do the other breast like that also. And as far as the back and our short thighs, remember we still got our short thighs here. We gotta get those out. We're gonna go right up against that, that backbone Cut right beside the backbone. That's your short thigh right there. Big nice short thigh. We got a little, little boniness in here we want to get rid of. Don't want that. Yeah, there we go. And that's your big pretty short thigh right there. And we got one more short thigh on the other side of the uh, backbone. Remember, come right up against that backbone. You want to come as close as to that bone as you can. And just come straight down. And that's your other breast right there. And this is your backbone. Now, typically backbones, what I do with them, I never throw them away. I'll save them in a freezer, a Ziploc bag. And I'll save them for, um, like when I'm cooking um, chicken broth, I use them for stock, chicken stock. They're perfect for that. So definitely don't throw it away because it's money in the bank. Trust me. And that is basically your, your, your whole chicken cut up in a nutshell. So as you can see, it's not hard. It's pretty simple to do. The only thing to it is just, just take your time. You'll get through it and just cut it part by part. If you have to look at this tutorial as you do it, you're welcome to do that. But hey, from now on, try some whole chicken sometime and, and, and you'll save a, a penny or two. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on cutting up a fresh chicken.